In this series of videos we will be talking about design patterns in Laravel, we will talk about every design pattern that Laravel use and explain it with examples, first of all, what are design patterns, software development's recurrent issues can be solved through design patterns. They act as guidelines for writing organized, reusable code. Design patterns in the context of Laravel offer programmers a set of principles and best practices that guarantee the production of high-quality applications. In this video we will first talk about the singleton pattern, what is the singleton pattern, Laravel uses the singleton pattern for managing instances of various services and components. The singleton pattern ensures that a class has only one instance and provides a global point of access to it. In Laravel, the singleton pattern is commonly used in the context of the service container and various services provided by the framework. The service container is a powerful tool for managing class dependencies and performing dependency injection. It ensures that only one instance of a particular service is created and shared throughout the application's lifecycle. Here's an example of the singleton pattern in Laravel using the service container. In this example we have a logger class with a log method that outputs a log message. Using the app singleton method, we bind the logger class to the service container as a singleton. This means that the first time the logger is resolved, a new instance of logger is created, and subsequent attempts to resolve logger will return the same instance. When we resolve the logger from the service container twice logger1 and logger, both variables point to the same instance of the logger class. When we call the log method on either logger1 or logger2, the log messages indicate that they are using the same instance of the logger class. The singleton pattern ensures that there is only one instance of the logger throughout the application, promoting efficiency and consistency in managing dependencies. Let's explore another example of the singleton pattern in Laravel, focusing on a scenario where you might want to use a singleton for managing a configuration service. Assume you have a configuration service that loads and provides application configuration settings. You want to ensure that there is only one instance of this configuration service throughout your application. Here's how you might implement this using the singleton pattern in Laravel. We have a configuration service class with a simple constructor that loads configuration data. The class provides a getConfig method to retrieve configuration values based on keys. We use the app singleton method to bind the configuration service class to the service container as a singleton. This ensures that there is only one instance of the configuration service throughout the application. Whenever we need to access the configuration service, we can use the app config service to resolve the singleton instance. We retrieve a configuration value using the getconfig method. Using the singleton pattern in this context is beneficial because it ensures that the configuration data is loaded only once, and subsequent requests for the configuration service reuse the same instance. This can be especially useful for performance reasons and for maintaining consistency in configuration settings across different parts of your application. In Laravel, you'll find the singleton pattern applied to various services and components managed by the service container, ensuring efficient resource utilization and consistency in instances throughout the application's lifecycle. And that's it for the singleton pattern, if you enjoy this video and want more design patterns videos check the video that is popping on your screen, thank you for watching.